Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today we are going over the newest rain flavor, and that flavor is the Tropical Storm, coming right up. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today where I go over everyday energy for everyday people. It is primarily energy drink reviews, but I do the occasional caffeine safety video as well as caffeinated product. So if that sounds like it might be right for you, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night and one of the weekends. If you're looking to show more support for the channel, I do offer channel memberships. I will include a link in a pinned comment down below as well as a description box. If that's not right for you, that's fine, but feel free to follow me on social media. I can be found on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all at Caffeine Man 1. Doesn't cost a cent. And in today's video, we're going over the Rain Tropical Storm. Uh, this drink started out as an Amazon exclusive. Uh, you could only purchase it on Amazon. I don't think it's been in stores yet. I know sometimes exclusives, especially from big companies like uh, Rain, Red Bull, Monster, they usually end up being a store exclusive for like three months or something, but then they finally release it to the public because they want everyone to get it. But they never really announce if these exclusives are just exclusive to them for ever or for a short amount of time so you don't know until you pick them up in stores because because I said in one of my last videos that the uh, C4 Mango Tango was a vitamin shop exclusive and people are like no we picked it up at Kroger we picked it up here I picked up my local gas station so 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 yeah so a lot of misinformation out there some of it provided by me to you guys so all I can tell you is that it was an Amazon exclusive you can still find it on Amazon if it's in stores near you all the better. And even better than that is a big thank you to Energy Drink Josh for sending me this drink. He was so excited when he heard about it that he went to Amazon, he purchased a case of it, and he was kind enough to send me a can. So thank you so much to Energy Drink Josh. Feel free to check him out on social media. He can be found on Instagram and Twitter. He posts pictures of energy drinks almost every single day. You are bound to see something you have not seen before. Check out Energy Drink Josh. If you are interested in learning all about Rain, I did do a full review when they first came out in that review right there is what it looks like. And it was also a video where I mentioned the battle they were having with Bang because Rain, who's owned by Monster, uh, doesn't really get along that well with Bang. Two of those flavors have been discontinued so far, but I have reviewed every Rain since then that they've come out with. Therefore, in this video, there's only one thing left to do. Let's taste it out, so let's taste it out. And here's the can. Rain has a fairly basic look. They basically put their logo, they put some words, they put the drink on there, keep it fairly simplistic for you. A couple of different colors on there for the flavor. It does have 300 milligrams of caffeine in it, electrolytes and other stuff that are listed in that other video that I did. And I am curious by the flavor, Tropical Storm. A tropical tends to be a staple in a lot of different energy drink lines. It's one of the more common flavors. So I'm surprised I didn't see something like this sooner. And a rain usually comes out with unique flavored drinks as well. At first, they came out with some of the ones to compete with Bang's first flavors, but then they were the ones that came up with Orange Dreamsicle. They did a jalapeno strawberry for the heck of it, but they also did like Lemon Heads, which was a sour lemon, Blue Raz, and a couple of the staples. And it looks like now they're going back to one of the staples with a tropical flavor, and, and they can't go wrong with a tropical flavor. I mean, there really hasn't been a tropical flavor that I haven't liked. Uh, hold on. I mean, there haven't been many tropical flavors I haven't liked. That Rockstar Tropical Berry, the uh, TMGS, was, it was okay, but still, it wasn't horrible. But most companies do a good job with it, and there are several different ways that you can go with it. There are several flavors in tropicals that you can go with. You can go a little stronger in pineapple. You can go a little stronger with maybe a little bit of a lemon, lime, citrusy kind of flavor. And you can mix in other tropical flavors in there. So they do have a wide world open to them for their tropical flavor, so I am curious what they're gonna do with their tropical storm. Let's satisfy that curiosity by tasting it out. I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to it as well because our rain hasn't really been coming out with that many drinks. Clear cutter. They started off being fairly competitive with Bang. They, they tried to mimic some of their flavors and make them better. And then they started making more releases, but then COVID happened. And I'm not sure if it's COVID related with supply chains or anything like that, or if they were going through some struggles as the sister company of Monster. I'm not exactly sure, but everyone can agree that they definitely slow down on their production of drinks, which, which everyone's a bit sad by because they're like, wow, you know, Bang has a competitor now and they're doing a really great job with their drinks. I mean, I have to say, even though I try to forget that it's a monster owned company because they really did do an amazing, that they do do, not did do, they do do, do do, a great job with their drinks. Most of their drinks have actually rated in the nines for me. 
But if you catch me glancing down at my cheat sheet, there's only three drinks that are below a nine. Let's see how the Tropical Storm does. It's still that nine caliber quality. Smells like it. I think they went a little orange heavy. Orange is a strong smell though. Let's taste it out. All right, so for your carbonation, you get a medium to high carbonation. They're always right near that high mark. For their sweetness, I would say they're also going medium to high sweetness, and, and they're really, they usually hit that high mark, uh, but for this one, they're not hitting that high mark. It's because there is, uh, it's a tropical flavor, so there is a little bit of citrus that is pulling back on that sweetness, but it still is a fairly sweet drink. And for your flavor profile, uh, I am actually gonna say it is high on the flavor profile, uh, on the lower end of high, and for that flavor, Flavor. Uh, I was right by the smell. I did smell the orange when I went to go drink it. And then when I tasted it, I was actually hit with that orange flavor first. Yeah, even, <laughs> you might have noticed me, I glanced down at the can because uh, the can has colors for for the logo and those colors are usually representative of what the flavors are and uh, it does have orange yellow and green on there which makes me think it's going to be orange lemon and lime all very acidic very citrusy citrus citricky citrusy citric citrus tropical uh, acidic i don't know all of uh similar uh, acidity levels which are pretty high and, and i'm usually not a fan of the high acidity but it is still a really good flavor i would say that uh orange is the thing that's coming through mostly for me but it is not uh, a, a super solid orange flavor like they should have called it orange something else i would say that you're probably getting maybe a 35 to 40 percent orange flavor out of here which makes you think well then how is that the dominant flavor it's because all of the other flavors in there are much much lighter uh when it comes to tropical drinks i prefer the tropicals to have a little bit more pineapple forward and this is very very light in the pineapple uh if there's much in there at all it's really really difficult to pick out all the flavors that are in here because they're all mixing in and that's what a tropical is a tropical is a mix of lots of different flavors and I really think that they're giving you probably about a 35% orange, then like a 20% lime, a 15 to 20% lemon, and then all of those other flavors that are in there, the pineapples, the tropical flavors, the exotic fruits that they might put in there, those are all falling like 10% in less and they're just all mixed in there uh, fairly well together. So hopefully I explained what it is. It does tend to be more of a uh, citrus kind of tropical drink. But well, let's go ahead, let's take a look where it's gonna fall on the caffeine man rating chart. Well, unfortunately it's not gonna hit the nines, but I still think it is a solid flavor. I still think it is a good flavor. I'm actually gonna give this an 8.8. .8. It's right around that same caliber of the Red Bull Tropical that I'm a really huge fan of. For uh, more of your standard tropical flavors, you'll notice that all of the uh, ones that are above it in the nines are they were a little bit more maybe pineapple forward or mango forward or maybe just a little bit more of a twist on what a tropical is as opposed to your base kind of standard tropical i really think that uh this is taking that basic standard tropical and kind of dumbing it down a little bit by putting a little bit too much orange or even lemon lime in there when i think tropical I don't really think oranges, but still a solid flavor at an 8.8, .8. still a bit higher than some of those other companies with their tropicals, definitely better than a lot of those generic tropicals down in the sevens. Thank you again to Energy Drink Josh for sending me this drink. I do appreciate it. And thank you all for joining me. I do appreciate that as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this flavor, what you think about it, and what you'd like to see next from Rain, because with the limited amount of flavors that they've been releasing the last two years or so, I think a lot of people might be let down by this release compared to what they produced in the past. Thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night.